there's always a time where we confront these little insects. And I'm not talking about honeybees. I'm talking about wild bees. Bees that are called wasps. You can find another wild one that's even bigger than wasps, called hornets. Bees, wasps, and hornets are all wild creatures. And these three have so many differences, but yet they're very similar in many ways. So let's compare these three and see what the difference is. One of the similarities is that they all have stingers and they could sting you. Just like we've previously showed in other videos, when a honeybee stings you, because the way its stinger is set up, it gets stuck in skin, especially human skin. And when the honeybee pulls out the stinger, it basically leaves all its intestines behind and later on dies. But the more wild one, like the wasps and the hornets, do not die and they very easily sting and live on. One of the other similarities is that they hate the cold and they only thrive when it's spring and summer. But this is the same for every other insect pretty much. When you get closer to winter, the weak ones die and only the strong survive. They always try to find houses in different places that are warm, especially your attic, basement, someone's old shed. They always like to make a nest in these areas. Just like every other bee, all three of them are very hard workers. It is true that most of them do not produce honey, but their whole day consists of working and finding food not for themselves only, but for the entire colony. Most of the population in a bee colony is workers, and all they're trying to do is wake up in the morning, go find food, bring it back to the nest, and go back again and find more food. And this continues until it gets colder or it turns into night. Just like we said, an entire bee's life is to find food and bring it back to the nest for the kids, but not their own kids, the kids of the entire colony. Of course, the workers also protect the queen. These are very monstrous insects. But there is a very famous creature that's not scared of anything. And one of the most common wars in nature is between ants and wasps. An ant is much smaller than a wasp, but they work strategically. It's not like they send one ant to face one wasp. They surround the wasp and damage from all direction defeating it. The ant army is hundreds of times larger than the wasp army. And when the ants attack, they get overwhelmed and they are very easily defeated after killing many ants though. They could throw up their hands and surrender like the French army in 1940, even though they have hundreds of thousands of soldiers ready to go, but they decided to throw up the white flag. But these wasps do not act like the French army. They will fight until they die. They will also kill the queen. You have a few types of bees, honeybees, and bumblebees. They're not really wild, but they're not friendly either. Then you have wasps and hornets that are completely out of their mind and they're considered predators. But hornets are much more angrier than wasps and they're usually bigger. You can tell it's a wasp by its look. It's bigger, it doesn't have any hair on it, and its tail is much longer than a smaller bee. But even though with all the negativity, they're still very useful for nature. Their main food source is sugar, but where do they get that sugar from? From flowers. So that means they help with pollination. They're just very angry, and if you joke around with them, they might come and sting you. One of the worst things these predator type bees do is that they create nests around humans, like in your attic, 
in your storage areas. And when you enter an area where you haven't entered in a while and you don't have any lights, these guys might attack you and it could be dangerous. Alongside all the bad things they do, they know something good. They kill different types of insects. Just like we said, their main food source is sugar, but they don't shy away from eating insects. So sometimes they eat some flies and mosquitoes. An era of a wasp's life is extremely angry, and that's when it retires. Because once it's done working for the colony, they literally kick them out. And the least you could say is that they're emotional, and they don't have time for anything. And this is the highest chance of an attack. But let's look at the most iconic hornet in the world where we have seen it in news before. This is the biggest bee in the world. It is known as the Asian giant hornet or Japanese giant hornet. This could be as long as seven and a half centimeters. And alongside that, it's also the most poisonous bee. Thankfully, these guys don't live near us unless you live in Eastern Asia and India. These hornets are extremely angry and whenever they see living animals, there's a high chance they would want to attack. But if you don't mess with them, they will leave you alone. When Japanese experts were experimenting with this hornet and they put it close to a honeybee hive, the honeybees gave off a smell that the scientists realized the hornet is scared of it and it flew away from that certain area. In the areas this hornet lives, honeybees evolved in a way where they can give this pheromone off and scare it off instead of allowing it to attack. Because if a colony of this hornet decides to attack a group of honeybees, they will devour them. So if you find these hornets around an area where the honeybees are not familiar with this insect, they will get devoured. Another huge difference this hornet has with different bees and different hornets for that matter is that their nests are underground rather than high up in the trees and buildings. You might see a hole and there's these hornets living in there. And sometimes you're casually walking in an area and unfortunately you stepped in their nest now you got a bunch of angry hornets that want to attack you and kill you. An interesting thing happened is that in the year 2019, they realized that these giant Asian hornets are found in the state of Washington, but they do not belong in this area. They predicted that it probably hopped on a cargo ship and it went to the west coast of the US from Asia. So they acted quickly and eradicated every single one that they could find. But to this day, the locals of state of Washington still say that they see these things flying around all the time. So the problem is they haven't fixed the issue. They're going to give a lot of births underground in the jungles of Washington. And all of a sudden there's going to be billions of them. They're not worried about these things hurting humans. They're more worried about hurting the ecosystem because they will completely change that area because they didn't evolve there and they don't belong there. Before we leave, let's see another story about a lab bee. In the year 1950, in a Brazilian laboratory, they were experimenting on bees, especially European honeybees and African honeybees. But they started experimenting it and they mated them together and created a new type of bee. And when they saw its attitude, they named it the Killer African Bee. It seems like the employees of this laboratory weren't careful enough. They left the door open and they let these Africanized bees out into the wild. They are not as wild as these hornets, but they are extremely angry. It's like they're angry that they were born. They are a honeybee. They produce honey and they act like honeybees, but their temper is extremely short. And more than a thousand people have died because of these things. You might ask how dangerous is the stinger to kill more than a thousand people? But bees like this do not attack one by one. 
Thousands of them attack a person and start stinging from all directions. And when this many stingers hits one person, it will be fatal and there is a high chance a person can die from it. Now we came to a conclusion that the most dangerous bee is this Asian hornet. And the reason is, is that their nest is on the ground. But the Africanized honeybee is extremely dangerous and it has killed the most amount of people. 